Hi boys and girls, Nani here. Have you all been since I spoke to you last? Have you all been keeping well? Keeping safe? Keeping out of trouble? I'm, uh, I decided last night to do a day trip today. So it's a bit late, it's midday now, so I've left it a bit late. Anyway, what can you do? I slept in. All right, here's my Uber. It's been quite day. Yeah, quite, yeah. Yeah. All right. So I've been dropped off near the train station. There's a lot of road works going on. You can see. We're not even in trouble. You can't travel more than five kilometres from home. I'll be travelling like forty plus kilometres. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I was just about to hop on the train and I realised I fucking left something at home. I left a parcel at home. Um, I left it on my letterbox when I was waiting for the Uber. So I rang my wife and um, luckily it's still on my letterbox. So I'm just waiting for her to drop it off now. Oh, fuck's sakes. Oh, here she comes. Thanks, darling. Okay. Sorry. Ah, oh, far out. Lucky I didn't have to wait long. So, where am I going today? I'm going to visit someone. If you watch uh, Rebel News, if you um, he was featured recently on that channel. <laughs> Avi Mini here in Melbourne, Australia, for Rebel News today. We're at the Melbourne Magistrates Court for one of our fightthefines.com.au cases. Well, this is a case you haven't heard about, even though we've had it going for months. We just haven't had the time to tell you. This is Shane's story. I was uh, just going to the Coles to buy some eggs, Gisborne groceries, which was one of the uh, reasons why we could be out. And while I was walking to Coles, which was only about 300 metres away, um, I observed four police officers and they had a male in handcuffs. So I thought it was reasonable there and then to stop as just a civic duty, pretty much, to um, document what was going on, especially with the police and their heightened powers at the moment. And um, in doing so, uh, they did release the gentleman after 45 minutes and then they proceeded to walk across the road and virtually immediately issued me with a $1,658 fine. It's unbelievable. He's, crime really is holding police accountable in a time that we need people to hold police accountable. So, I'm going to see Shane. If you don't recognise him, that is uh, auditing Australia. So, I'm going to uh, go to his place, meet up with him for the first time. He doesn't even know I'm coming. So I hope he's at home. Um, so I know what area he's in, so I'm going to go to his um, local train station and I'm going to ring him up and hopefully he picks up the phone. Yeah, I decided last night, after watching the Rebel News video, I'm going to pay him a surprise visit. I've got a few goodies here and hopefully he likes it. So I'm in the city now and I've got one minute before the next train comes. So this is Melbourne and I've been travelling about uh, an hour 20 minutes. Alright, here's my stop. Alright, I have no idea where I am. Luckily, uh, Auditing Australia answered the phone, so he knows that I'm just around the corner. I've just seen Auditing Australia. There's my man. Hi, oh, hey, brother. Hey, Charlie. Hey. 
Hello there. You find one up, man? Huh? You find one up? Yeah. Yeah. This Charlie. <laughs> oh my god! This is all balances of wild this thing, man. And I got something else for this. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're a legend, Kish. Same top I'm wearing. <laughs> so this is the two handled grip. And the gimbal sits in the middle. Okay. So I reckon we should put this shit together, man. Kind of similar, eh? Yeah. Okay, that's my phone. It's my phone gimbal. The big banger. Yeah. This is a uh, fourth axis gimbal. This goes in here. Oh, wait. This goes in here. And then we lock it in. Jeez, man. Yeah, mate. So I'm with all the team Australia and I spent a few hours with him <laughs> and I'm going home. Where is he? There he is, look. <laughs> He's showing me how to get back home. So I'm waiting for the tram. Fuck this muzzle off. <laughs> got pepper sprayed when it was live streaming. The funny thing is, I'll fucking make myself is I'll put my mask back on yesterday oh. and wrap it in. <laughs> Did you hear that? He said he maced himself because the next day he wore the same mask. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the last time I did a live, they fucking doxed me, the police. They kept saying my name and address because he knew I was live streaming. So ever since then, I've never live streamed again. So here's my lift. Thanks, brother. It was good seeing you, man. Love you, man. I really appreciate all the stuff you do. Yeah, we'll see you. Get, I'll see you again soon. Care, see you, brother. Catch you, brother. See you, man. Thanks, see ya. So I'm at Flinders Street. I'm in the back in the city, and. Uh, Man, there's not one cop around. I haven't seen one police officer yet. Not many people are out. It's pretty quiet. This is supposed to be my train, but there's something wrong with it. So it's it's going to leave empty. So, so after two hours, I'm finally at my local station. Just got the train there. Two freaking hours. So now I've just got to leave the train station and order an Uber to get home. Home sweet home. Two hours after leaving Alting Australia's place. There's my wife. Don't hide. Babe! She's locking me out of the house. What are you doing? I don't want to be oh, are you smelling Charlie? Hey Shane, look. He can smell Charlie everywhere. <laughs> what? You alright? You alright? <laughs>